Yo, what's happening, YouTube Jugger here? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually spawn Vershawn, the Torment Echo of Vershawn, which is the uber version of Vershawn here in Diablo 4. Now, Vershawn is a very hard uber boss, but you have to go through different stages of him to actually spawn this tormented echo version of him and fight him in world tier 4 so it's not as easy as you think as it is a step by step process yes. tormented echo of Vershawn drops crazy rewards and we will talk more about that at the end as we showcase it as we destroy him now let's start the guide the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you finish the season's campaign season 1 season of the malignant quest now line. for this next step you can be on any world tier it does not matter but you need to farm these invokers the brutal the vicious and the devious malignant invokers now in order to do this all you have to do is farm the malignant tunnels in order to get these invokers now the rest of the materials for any of these invokers you need to farm hell tides or nightmare dungeons now once you got all the materials together you can go ahead and craft invoker of Vershawn. now you're gonna make sure that you go to raven pits once you have that invoker of Vershawn, like i just showed you previously on two. the map once you are in this malignant tunnel here you are going to clear it as fast as you can all you have to do basically is to kill the two malignant bosses in here the two malignant elites in here and then once you get to this part instead of going straight towards the end just make a left and go deeper into the tunnels and you will find this door this hidden easter egg door and you can access it now once you get to the back of oh, this malignant too. tunnel right here you can actually use that invoker that you crafted to spawn Vershawn, which you will be using the invoker of Vershawn. Now, this fight is not easy, okay? Even me being a level 81 sorcerer. Now, sorcerer right now, pre patch 111, sorcerer is very squishy. The update is coming out here Tuesday, so hopefully that we do get some more power so that we can able to survive Vershawn. But yes, it's not an easy fight, but for the rogue, they can actually one shot version but the sorcerer again hopefully we get that power that we need coming up this Tuesday. now once you kill version on world tier 2 the next step that you need to do is to pick up the rewards he is actually going to drop you a recipe called foul invoker of version now in season one there's actually a new location in certain parts of the map that has this table with a leaf on it that is your new crafting table you're going to take that recipe and you're going to consume the foul invoker of Vershawn by pressing the action button now you have consumed that recipe now you can be able to actually craft the foul invoker of Vershawn now I know it's crazy all of these steps we are not halfway done yet we still have way more to go but I promise you the rewards will be worth the fight now in order to craft this foul invoker of Vershawn you need to have the materials which is an invoker of Vershawn and sigil powder now in the latest patch you cannot get sigil powder from the tree of whispers anymore the best way to get sigil powder is to do nightmare dungeons get those sigils and actually break them down from the blacksmith which will actually give you sigil powder what i mean by breaking down the sigils i mean by breaking down the nightmare dungeon sigils doesn't matter what tier it is you just need to break it down to the blacksmith to get that sigil powder now once you have all those materials go ahead and craft your foul invoker of version like you guys just seen me do that right there the next step is to actually put your world tier up to world tier three now you're gonna see me actually put my world tier from world tier two to world tier three now that i have that foul invoker of Vershawn, i'm gonna go back to the raven pits so that i can spawn not the same Vershawn, but a much higher version of him which will be the nightmare version of Vershawn. we are getting closer to spawning the uber version of Vershawn, calling him the tormented version of Vershawn. again do the same exact thing run through the tunnels as fast as you can kill the two elite malignant bosses on here which they are indicated like a skull on the map so that's how you know they are the boss so just go to them rush them kill them you're gonna end up at this spot right here it's gonna say you cleared the malignant tunnel again just like the previous step in world tier 2 but now we're in world tier 3 again is the same thing just we have a new invoker which is the foul invoker of Vershawn. going deep 
deep within the tunnels. You need to make a left layout or a right, depending on how the map actually spawns you. Because the game likes to trick you so that you are not experiencing the same exact thing, but it's the same exact thing, okay? So either left or right, just make sure you go deep within the tunnel and use that recipe, the Foul Invoker of Rashawn, and out will spawn the Nightmare Echo of Rashawn. Now you need to kill him as fast as you can before he kills you. <laughs> Again, I know it's not an easy fight, but we will talk about his mechanics here coming up deeper within the video and actually how to defeat him. But first, once you kill the Echo of Rashawn, the Nightmare version, you will get the next step that you need to do in order to spawn the Uber version of him. So once you kill him on World Tier 3, the Nightmare version, he will drop the recipe called Tormented Invoker of Vershawn. You're going to pick that up. Now again, you're going to repeat step 1 and 2, and this is step 3. You're going to go back to that same crafting bench, and you are going to actually see the Tormented Invoker of of Vershawn in your inventory you are going to consume that by pressing the action button but before we do that you guys can see right here we only have the foul invoker of Vershawn and invoker of Vershawn we're actually missing the next step which is again to consume that new recipe of killing the nightmare version of Vershawn and now once you consume that new recipe you will have a new slot that just opened up called tormented invoker of Vershawn. Now, in order to craft the Tormented Invoker of Vershawn, you need to get these materials. You need to get Fiend Rose, Invoker of Vershawn, which you guys already know how to craft the Invoker of Vershawn already. So now, once you got those materials, don't forget the Forgotten Souls. Again, in order to get these materials, you need to farm Hell Ties or Nightmare Dungeons. But for the Forgotten Souls and the Fiend Rose, the best way is to farm Hell Ties. So it's a lot of farming in order to craft this Tormented Invoker of Vershawn. Once you got all those materials together, go ahead and craft your Tormented Invoker of Vershawn. Now, once you got that new Invoker, you need to put your game on World Tier 4 Torment Mode. And we are going to repeat steps 1, 2, and 3. Now, we are actually going to go back to the Raven Pits again one more time on World Tier 4 this time. This time, we're going to spawn the Uber version, the secret boss which is the tormented version of Vershawn. Okay, once you're in this tunnel, you know what you need to do. Do not need to repeat any of those steps I just told you. Once you are deep within the tunnel, you're going to go through that secret door. Now you are going to use that new invoker and you are going to spawn the uber version of Vershawn. Tormented invoker of Vershawn. Now before we actually speak about the mechanics and how to beat Tormented Echo of Vershawn, which is the uber version of Vershawn, I want to let you guys know thank you so much for supporting the shop. You guys are actually incredible. If you need any carry services or anything within Diablo 4, you can always message me within my shop. My shop is not an eBay shop. It's a full site that I paid out of my pocket so that I can have full communications with you so that I can be able to actually carry you within this game and get you the rewards that you seek for a very low price. And again, I have my loot reward points set up so that you can actually get more discounts or free services or items just for shopping within my shop because that's how much I love you guys because I'm willing to give away free things just so you guys can have fun within this game with me. Okay, so now in order to beat Vershawn, Tormented Echo of Vershawn, if I have to say his name one more time, I'm going to have to smoke myself, okay? It's just, dang guys, I do not know why the developers designed this Echo of Vershawn or that version of Vershawn or this version of Vershawn, but anyways, this is the uber version of Vershawn, which is called Tormented Echo of Vershawn. Okay, so he is not easy to beat at all. He is super hard, especially for the Sorcerer. You guys are going to see me die here. I tried different builds with the Sorcerer. The Lightning build, the Fire build, the Ice build. I even tried doing combination elemental builds. He is super hard to kill. But I will kill him. And I will show you the rewards that you will get. And I will talk about the upcoming patch. And what rewards that you get that will actually benefit you. And something that's actually happening on Tuesday in patch 111. That you guys should take advantage of. So I'm happy that you're watching my guide because it's going to be incredible now that you know how to do this. Now let's talk about how to beat him so that you can get those rewards. Okay, so his mechanics are just totally all over the place. He has different attacks that he can actually kill you and drain you in one shot. As you will see that he will destroy me in one shot sometimes because he dazes me. 
He stops me from actually attacking. I cannot pick up any potions because once I'm in his daze and I'm stunned, I cannot do anything. With the Sorcerer, if you do not know, we have this thing called Crackling Energy, which is around the map. There's little sparks and we can pick those up that gives us buffs like speed and stuff like that that we can actually use to actually demolish the enemies. But when he stuns us, when Vershawn stuns us, we cannot pick up no potions and we cannot pick up our Crackling Energy as well which is actually just insane how much he can actually do to disrupt our attacks so that he can actually destroy us before we can destroy him that is just one of his mechanics there's so many more that we're going to continue talking about now so he has this melee attack that he can whiplash you and stun you as well and that whiplash is so strong that it can one shot you as well then he does this overall aoe attack that can actually kill you in one shot like you just seen right there so you have to be careful to move out the way and you actually have to be careful to use a barrier because once it spreads throughout the entire map you're going to take a whole bunch of damage but if you do not have a barrier please make sure that you have enough armor or life to cover that attack and recover as fast as you can what i normally like to do is spam the potions because i know i am going to be drained in health and i'm probably going to die but once i keep spamming those potions that I can actually get a second win so that I can attack him again. Now he actually spawns these minions around the map time to time once you actually get him to his next phase and those little minions actually helps him to recover and they put a barrier over his health bar that you have to drain in order to get him to the next phase. Now if you do not drain this barrier enough, fast enough to get to his health, he actually starts recovering health so you have to kill these little minions as fast as you can. The most important thing in the Vershawn fight other than staying alive is to kill him. Now the way to kill him is that you have to stagger him. Staggering is where he actually takes the most amount of damage. You can do the highest DPS and he is not protected by the barrier or his minions. This is where you have to take advantage and try to kill him with the most DPS. Now let's talk about the most important part of this fight. And that is knowing what part of the fight and phase you are actually in by knowing this. And that is only indicated by his health bar. So now we are going to cover his health bar because there's a lot of things happening within his health bar. Okay, so he has a health bar indicated by red. So his life is red. Then he has a barrier which is indicated by blue. Now he has another barrier indicating the strength of that barrier which is highlighted in a different color blue. And at the bottom of that it has a gold bar letting you know the amount of damage that you have to give him in order to stagger him. Now once he is staggered by getting that gold bar all the way up then a blue bar pops up at the bottom of that bar. And then that's the most amount of damage that you can do because it takes away his barrier and exposes his life. Now that extra blue bar at the bottom will actually drain and it will drain fast. So you have to do as much damage as you can to him at that point in time. Now I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now you guys can see that gold bar is going up. As soon as it goes up, it's going to hit the peak. And now the blue is going to drain down, exposing his life. And I'm going to do as much DPS as I can to him before he gets back his barrier and spawn his minions. Now there's another part. If you cannot get that gold bar to go up to stagger him, once he goes to his next phase, he will actually expose his life depending on how much damage that you do to him. This is where you can actually take advantage by killing him and doing the highest DPS so that you can destroy him, which I just showed you I did in this instance. Congratulations for killing the uber version of Vershawn. His tormented version. Now let's speak about the rewards. The rewards is the most important part out of everything because it's all about the loot. Give me the loot, right? So now he drops different hearts and he can actually drop, he does drop a wrathful heart. You guys should know what a wrathful heart is at this point in time in the season. And hopefully you do know what it is because it's actually the best heart that you can put within your jewelry that gives you the best power for your character. Now the Barber Heart, the Wrathful Barber Heart is what everyone is after right now. And yes, he has a chance to drop it for you. In this case, he actually dropped me some amazing items right here. And the most important item besides the Wrathful Heart is the item power that he drops. He drops item power 800 items for you that you can turn into legendaries as well and he does drop a legendary from here and there but the patch coming up tuesday one 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 he has a hundred percent guaranteed drop rate to drop a legendary with a small chance to drop a unique of item power 800 as well 
and a smaller chance to drop an uber unique and this is all happening this tuesday and yes i will be streaming it for you guys so make sure that you subscribe turn notifications on because it's going down because yes jug is going to be streaming full time starting this tuesday i cannot wait it's going to be absolutely amazing i'm showcasing my build right here for you guys so you can see exactly what i use to destroy the uber version of i'm not i'm not you i know who he is version <laughs> all right well thank you guys so much for being here you guys are absolutely amazing remember treat yourself don't cheat yourself i'm jug love you guys to the fullest and i'll see you here for another one peace